guys, what's up? So I know I have been going through a lot of stuff over the past, losing my main channel with over 16,500 subscribers, losing a lot of cool things, and it's all because of just a lot of dumb issues. But anyways, this is my second channel in which I'm going to be working on since my main channel is now gone. If you guys don't know who I am, my original YouTube name was SCM Owns. I created that like when I was in 7th grade, but anyways what I do is I show you guys a review on mods and I show you guys the latest and the greatest mods that are out there. And there's a lot of cool mods such as this one, too many items for Minecraft 1.1. Minecraft 1.1 did come out today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this review and a tutorial right after I'm done with the review. You could always skip to the tutorial, you just click that annotation right up there. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this and it does work on multiplayer, I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything you need to know about too many items. First I'm gonna go into single player, I could create any world I want or you could go into any world. Alright, so I'm gonna go into this world. I am in the world of Minecraft 1.1. This is awesome. What you do is you press your inventory key and it should be opened up right away. This is Too Many Atoms. It's one of my favorite mods. And since Minecraft 1.0 came out, Too Many Atoms has really hit the spot with a lot of cool improvements. Anyways, you can always switch your game mode right here. You just turn it off and on. You can make it rain on and off. So I click the rain and it should be raining in any moment now. That's right, uh, desert biomes don't rain. It's only over here. <laughs> I forgot all about that. You can turn off and on rain, and you can always change the time however you like. So if you want it nighttime, you just click right there midnight and it should be pitch black. So there's a lot of cool things Too Many Atoms could do. It provides blocks that you don't get in creative mode. All you have to do is just press the little side arrow and it should be showing you a new list with a lot of cool items. Let's say you want some TNT, if you right click it, it should give you 64 stacks, alright? You can throw that away. If you left click it, it should just give you one. So there's one TNT. The Too Many Atoms feature also works on hardcore mode, so you just press your inventory key and you should be able to switch to creative mode and do whatever you like. If you have a lot of items in which you like to save, all you have to do is just click on one of these saves and it should be saving. Of course if you have too much junk, you could always throw away all these items. All you have to do is press in the trash can right here and you just click on the item and it should get rid of the items that you don't want. Alright so this is enough for single player, let me go ahead and show you on how to give yourself items on a server. All you have to do is disconnect, go into any server you like, I'm going to go ahead and do a direct connect and I'm going to spell out localhost. And it should be downloading the train, so now I'm in my server, well it's an offline server, but anyways you kind of get the point. Of course the list of items will show up here in the right corner, but you do not get the option to change your game mode instantly on a server. Maybe later in the future updates they might add that in, that would be pretty awesome, but anyways let me go ahead and show you. So I'm trying to get some items and I can't get them. If you go back to your server, it should say that the player is trying to give himself some items. For you to be able to give yourself items on a server, all you have to do is op yourself. You have to spell out OP in your username. Mine is sdogsteven, so op sdogsteven. Press enter and it should say console oping sdogsteven. Now it should say right there, you are now an op. Once you're an op, you can go ahead and give yourself as much items as you want, and they should spawn in front of you. In the old Minecraft 1.0 servers, when you click on an item, it just like came right here to your box, but now they spawn right outside you, so that's something new. One thing I did notice about too many items that they did not add in the eggs. To spawn the monsters and spawn all these other animals, too many items does not give you any eggs. You can look for the eggs, but you're not going to find any, so you have to change your game mode for the eggs. Alright, so that's basically it about too many items. This was the review part. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a tutorial on how to install the awesome mod. I can't wait till Optifine comes out for me to be able to zoom at things. Just look at that cool village. But anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so this is my tutorial part of the video in which I'm going to show you on how to install the awesome mod. So the first thing you're going to do is go into my description. I should have the forum link and the download link. So you could download too many items. It should look like a WinRAR file if you don't have it on a WinRAR. Go ahead and download WinRAR, links in description as well. I put in all the necessary links in the description, so go into the description and get the download. But the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing this mod, is I'm going to go here to Options, and I'm going to force update my game. The reason why I'm going to force update my game is because I have mods currently installed. If you have mods currently installed, I recommend to back them up, because you're never too sure if Too Many Items is compatible with your mods. And I'm pretty sure it's compatible with a lot of mods. I have tried Too Many Items with a lot of mods, and it has worked. So I'm going to force update. And now I'm going to log in. So now it's downloading a brand new Minecraft.jar, not touched, so I can go ahead and mod it. So I'm going to leave that running. Now you're going to get two minutes items from my description, and let's go ahead and do this. You can go here to start. You're going to search a program file right here. You're going to spell out percent, 
app data percent and for Windows XP users you should see here run and you run percent app data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft in the very top you're gonna go into your dot minecraft folder you're gonna see bin resources save and everything else go into your bin folder before you open up your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder you have to make sure that you have your minecraft game closed so you have to exit off your minecraft game you cannot mod minecraft while the game is running so exit off your minecraft game now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click your minecraft.jar that's in your bin folder you're gonna open that up with winrar or any 7-zip opener if you don't have winrar links in the description so you're gonna move this aside now the first thing you have to make sure to do of course is to delete meta inf you have to delete meta inf guys you're gonna right click and delete files say yes and delete meta inf now meta inf has gone now we can continue you're gonna open up too many items it's really simple double click move it aside what you're gonna do is you're just gonna highlight all the files from too many items and simply drag it all into the minecraft.jar side and replace press ok and that's it that's basically on how to install too many items it should work when you run the game it should work automatically if it doesn't show up then you're gonna press your O key I'm gonna go ahead and show you that I'm gonna go into single player I'm gonna go into a hardcore mode and wow I'm flying so I'm gonna press my inventory key which should be E and if it does not show up what you have to do is press O because that's on and off you could also install this mod with mod loader if you do install it with mod loader you can have infinite blocks so when you get 64 lava that 64 is not gonna go away Another cool thing about too many items is if you hold shift and if you click on any block, it should give you 111 of it. And if you install mod loader, you should have infinite of that block. If you did not install mod loader, then it's going to start subtracting. It does not seem to be subtracting, so I'm not sure if the new update somehow canceled the effect of mod loader. But anyways, you could always install this mod with mod loader because it works fine with it. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for liking me on Facebook. And thank you guys for keeping in touch with SEM Owns. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.